All right, we'll give it a try again. Dr. Robert Kassar, Big Island of Hawaii, April 23rd, Sunday. Fun day. Well, it's my fun day. Should be yours too. We're going to go ahead and, uh, well, well, first of all, let's go ahead and show you the, the star of the show. We're going to go ahead and talk to you about a few things, uh, maybe, well, it's not just an intelligent organic garden like I showed you before in some other videos, but we're going to show you the wild garden now. The wild garden is a garden that once you get it going, it repopulates itself pretty good. I've been bumped off a few times here, so I have to get started again on Facebook. They don't like me too much, maybe. <laughs> uh, talking about uh, certain things that sometimes, well, is controversial, sometimes is not really uh, one to be seen, but we're going to go ahead and give it a try, see if we can keep going. This is a wild garden that I have here, okay? Look around, and you'll go ahead and see, I'll show you, you don't ever cut the plants, you let them flower. This is arugula, okay? And you can see the flowers on top. And you just take off what you want to eat. Take off this piece right here. And you eat it. You never go ahead and destroy the plant. This is bok choy. Okay. And these are all seeds. So <clears throat> we're going to talk about reseeding your garden. Okay. Wildly. <clears throat> and you can see, look, this is red lettuce. Look at all the really close there. Each one of those little tiny little fuzz balls, hundreds of seeds, okay? This is mustard lettuce, okay? Every one of these, these are all seeds. So you can see everything here is going to seed, and that's one part of what we're going to talk about, but the second part is, eh, we're going to get into UFOs. You know what those are, right? Unidentified flying objects, but we're not going to just talk about that at all. You already know what that is, so we're going to talk about UFOs. And what's a UFO? UFO is a, uh, well, unidentified flying object and, excuse me, a UPO. UPO. Okay? Unidentified parasitic object. How about that? <laughs> okay, so. Just like behind me, you can see the ocean, okay? Lots of things that live in that ocean, lots of things. And there's lots of things that live in this body that we don't know about. So they're called unidentified parasitic objects versus unidentified, well, flying objects, which, heck, if you don't even know what a bird is, that's an un unidentified flying object. Forget about what we call aliens, okay? A and then L-I-E-N-S, could it be a B-E slash L-I-E slash F, okay, alien belief outside? Well, I don't know, <clears throat> but all I can tell you is the ones that live in the body, this has been my research for over 40 years, okay? The intraterrestrial aliens that live inside the body and the mind Okay, the extraterrestrial aliens, you know where they live? <laughs> they live they live on your skin. They live in your pores. Okay? So these are real what I call aliens. We don't know who they are. We don't even know what they are. We know they're powerful. And they know uh well, we know they make you sick. <clears throat> yes, they do. Okay? Remember parasites that live in the body, well, what do you think they are? Okay, they're passengers. They're sort of like passengers in your car and, well, they're not cleaning up after themselves. They demand you to feed them all the time <laughs> and they do have what's called mind control, which means they want you to drive around all over the place, maybe to feed them and do what they do, okay? So, <clears throat> you know, in order for you to be able to really understand, okay, the, the inside of the body, 
okay, the body that uh, houses tons of passengers, you really have to clean it up first, okay? So there's so much to talk about, that's all I can say. So today we're going to go ahead and have the theme, like I said, we're going to go ahead and see if we can talk about, well, the number one thing that if you want to go ahead and actually really, really change in your life is have an, an organic garden, okay? It's fun to have. This is better than uh, me having a girlfriend. <laughs> it's better than me having, well, uh, I don't know, a lot of things. For right now, this is my, my, I guess, companion. It feeds me every day. All I have to do is take care of it. And you know what? I get a chance to be able to see for the first time in my life the miracle of life. So when you start eating live food, you start connecting back to to nature okay and if you don't eat really live food you know what happens well you don't get a chance to connect to anything okay so now let's get into showing you look this is tobacco and tobacco of course is you can see these are huge leaves these are like 18 inches long and I grew this very I don't know probably this is uh, two and a half months old two months and each one of these pods like I said are seeds Okay, these are arugula. Each one of these are seeds. This is mustard lettuce. Each one of these are seeds. Okay, these ones here are Thai papayas. They just grow themselves. So a lot of the things that I grow in my garden, once you get it going, you make yourself some rows to get things going, and then what happens is things just propagate when they want to, where they want to. All of these here, look, in my front, <laughs> front gate, these are mustard grains. I could cut them out, but I eat from these all the time, okay? And all of this right here, this is all propagated separate, propagated by itself. Okay, so once you get a garden, just like once you get your stomach, your garden and your stomach normal, it propagates itself. And this is what I'm trying to get at. It's the theme. My wild garden, okay, right here, because it's wild, okay, I started it out being logical and reasonable, starting it out with rows and putting things here and there. But once you get it going, you only go ahead and clean up areas, okay, and you let things go through their full life cycle. So it's the same with your gut wall flora. Okay, once you get your garden healthy in your stomach, okay, in your intestines, then, well, it's just like my garden. It just keeps self-propagating itself all the time. So this is very important for you to understand. And once you go ahead, remember, the gut flora is mostly your immune system so it's very smart to be able to feed your immune system the smartest things you can so <clears throat> now you know parasites in my garden before used to eat my whole garden up and it's like you know what I'm doing all of this work and all I'm doing is feeding a bunch of bugs that I don't want in my garden okay so what do you do I have to go ahead and actually learn how to get rid of the snails and slugs. That's the only thing we have in the garden here. And I don't have any at all. But I used to basically have, I don't know, I'd go in my garden at night, go ahead and pick my vegetables, and I'd pick out 50 huge African snails, three, four inches long. And I'd see hundreds of small little slugs all eating my food. Okay, I never could go ahead and grow anything like this, any of the lettuces, because the snails, the slugs, just like the parasites in your body, look, there's not a bug that's eating these things, okay, not a bug, this is romaine lettuce, this is broccoli that's flowering, okay, nothing eats, okay, a healthy garden, just like nothing parasitically eats a healthy body. It takes years to go ahead and actually get yourself a healthy gut wall flora. It's not coming overnight. Okay, and there's lots of protocols to follow. Remember, you have to go ahead and decrease a lot of toxicity, not only in your system, but how to accumulate, uh, well, deaccumulate the accumulation. Okay, remember, it's not just in your intestinal tract. It's not just pesticides, insecticides, and herbicides, and fungicides, and all different types of chemicals, and plastics, and, well, anything that can get lodged in the body, in the intestinal tract. It goes, uh, well, sort of like this. Whatever goes in your body, if it can't get broken down from pharmaceuticals to fluoride to 
whatever it is your body is a filter and if it can't if it can't go ahead and uh, process it then you know what it does most likely it gets stuck in your body and that's why you see a lot of people remember UFOs <laughs> those are the ones that fly all over the place okay and we think they're alien ships whatever they are doesn't matter if you don't know what it is it's an unidentified flying object and guess what guys you should see what lives in your your body unidentified flying objects hey guys <laughs> aloha I see all these thumbs up and everything and things going by unidentified flying objects like I said you see them with your eyes but these unidentified parasitic objects you can't see you can't see them at all okay I'm just getting warmed up <laughs> I got bumped off Facebook so many times here I got discouraged here I wasn't even gonna do this so yeah anyways there we go lots of hearts hey guys <clears throat> you know it takes a lot of not even courage to do this man this is like an uphill battle to be able to try to try to really give a little bit of of wisdom and what's wisdom it just means you have experience it doesn't mean I'm smarter than you No, it means see these gray hairs <laughs> that's that's called wisdom if you don't have gray hairs that means you may be smart in some certain things but stress is what gets these this is uh, called ozone okay when you get cortisol and everything and I'm like I said close to getting close to 60 years old I and mean, I've been through a lot three children uh, to uh, what we call uh, um, surrogates okay moms okay that of course is is not a nice way to say but that's what happens when you have a child you have uh, a well you have a relationship with someone which is beautiful okay and what you have to do is you have to make all those things work in many different ways okay which is the best thing I ever did in my life okay I learned so much what a beautiful thing to have children as long as <laughs> you don't have a lot of stress all I can tell you is that I brought up the children thing is because your body has a ton of children inside it even though you don't even have any and that's why maybe maybe you have stress sometimes you can get it from the outside which I love my children that's the best thing I ever did I cried everyone that that was was born first breath I just cried why because what a beautiful thing and well inside your body you know what happens you have all these different children inside you and well they're not serving you remember these are parasites remember these are the unidentified parasitic objects so we've got a long lecture it's 10 classes or hierarchies of parasites and you need to know where they live what they eat okay and uh, well what to do to be able to either let them go or well get rid of them <laughs> and get rid of them means sometimes yeah you got to go ahead and kill them like skin fungus it doesn't just leave you okay tapeworms you think they're just gonna go bye-bye and if you think you don't have them again guys remember there's a sickness all over the place here all you got to do is see it I was in uh, Hilo the other day you know and this is Hawaii everybody should be Hawaiian dancers you know and you see all the the movies back in the 40s and the 50s and and you uh, well think in your mind that everybody looks like the Hawaiian dancers that you saw in the movies and the big picture is you know over here just like any city there is anywhere that most people most groups of people are sick is because why we've lost our way how do we lose our way we lose our way because we don't understand sometimes that well the things that we did a hundred years ago are the things that we need to get back to and what's that and that's just well living simple and being a minimalist instead of uh, sort of like a materialist that gives you again gray hairs <laughs> got too much stress okay so basically having a garden is the best thing like I said you could ever have can't even understand it okay what you're missing and once you do this then what happens is your body and your mind changes massively okay why because you're getting live food live food is energy it's plasma and what it does is it starts to go ahead and give you more energy and more energy that your body gets basically makes it so it's like my garden 
There's no snails and hares because I made it so. I terrain modified my garden. Now they may be outside my garden, but they're not inside the garden. Just like there may be parasites outside my body, but there's not too many inside my body. Okay? So I have to take care of my garden every day, just a little bit. I water it, make sure that everything is, well, needed to be able to make my plants flourish. And the body's the same way. You gotta go ahead and take care of a lot of stuff to be able to stay healthy in this world. So, you know, there's connecting the dots, you know, is one of the biggest pictures in, in health, wellness, and evolution. Connecting the dots. So, there's a lot of good videos for everybody to go ahead and actually learn from, but there's a lot of good videos you'll see on YouTube. You know what happens? Well, you get confused because everybody's telling you to go ahead and do something, you know, in a different way. All I can tell you is that after 40 years of research, okay, there are some simple things for you to start out with. Just learning skin cleaning. Skin cleaning protocols and not, 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 okay, using, of uh, well, <laughs> traditional oils, traditional uh, sunblock, traditional perfumes, remember traditional hairspray, traditional shampoos, conditioners, okay, all that stuff, makeup, okay, no, don't use it, why, because all of it's toxic, traditional, you know that if you really look up, and it's sort of weird, because there's a lot of weird stuff happening right now, okay, Remember, a lot of different fast food restaurants have human DNA. I'm not sure if it's true or not, but you know what? Look it up on the internet. Human DNA found in vegetarian hot dogs, sausages, okay, all different things. Look at all the different hamburgers found with horse meat and different types of things that are found inside them. Again, personally, you know, we went over last week Facebook number seven to visit the Lamb of God, Sheila. Okay. She's still alive right now. You know why? Because I didn't have, I don't know, my Easter Sunday dinner. I didn't, I didn't go ahead and actually uh, do the dirty deed with her. And I had several guys here. Well, hey, what are you going to do with those sheep? They're a perfect time right now to go ahead and, you know, <laughs> carve up. So, yeah, sort of a weird thing when you... Remember, once you lose certain parasites in your body, your body cannot go ahead and even accept any of that type of idea. It doesn't make sense. It's not critical thinking. And what's critical thinking? Critical thinking is, is really thinking your actions, thinking through what you do. Thinking through. Come on, Dodo. Thinking through what you do, okay? And what does that mean? That means you have to have discernment. Discernment on maybe I don't know, <laughs> the actions that you do, okay? Discernment. And that means you have to think about things before you do them. There's lots and lots of stuff to learn. I constantly really try to, to take care of myself, okay? And only really hang around people that really want to. If not, I don't really, I don't know, have the energy sometimes to be able to to, to of always teach people that actually are so backwards, okay? Remember, we all need to learn together. There are better ways to be able to live our lives. <laughs> there is. If you don't think so, again, well, maybe uh, it just takes a little time for us to go ahead and figure out that there, there's, you know, other ways when you actually look at other ways because whatever you're doing whatever I'm doing whatever anybody's doing is the best we all know how to do we're not dummies okay but sometimes when you look and see what you're doing and you change it you go ahead and say what a dummy I used to be okay nah that's right <laughs> that's what he said so just did a video on how to make super mineralized vinegar okay and you can take your vinegar that you have, okay, Bragg's vinegar, any type of raw vinegar, and I can show you how to take one gallon and make it into five gallons, way better than, than what you buy in the store. So this is a video, I'm going to probably put it out, uh, I don't know, probably in the next three or four days, and uh, showing you how to replicate your raw apple cider vinegar, 
okay, and add minerals and make it so it turns into a super live medicinal vinegar, which is beautiful. Remember, your gut wall flora, okay, is your health. And my garden, okay, my soil in my garden makes my plants grow. And my soil in my garden here makes my body stay healthy. And if my soil in my garden, okay, is not healthy, okay, in this garden, what do I get? Parasites. Do I got to make sure the snails stay out of there? Heck yeah. Okay. Do I got to make sure the parasites stay out of me? Well, yeah. You got to be smart. So, you know, we've got right now, I don't know, today, we've never had, I've never personally seen aerosol spraying here in Hawaii. And yesterday and today, I even did a video. I saw aerosol spraying behind me, all behind, over towards Maui, and then all towards this way, towards the south, same thing. And then today, first time I've ever seen it here. So if you don't know what uh, aerosol spraying is, whatever it is, it's a lot of, lot of stuff put in there, and whatever it is, who knows. But remember, no one digs a hole in your backyard for nothing. You're always doing something for something, so... All I can say is, if you really want to get, remember, healthy, wealthy, happy, and wise, then you got to really change your diet. And it's so easy to do. Remember, clean your skin first to start with. Second, start hydrating yourself with the liquids of vitality. Increase your liquids to 150 ounces a day. Three, learn how to go ahead and start taking away things in your diet. Taking them away, not adding. Remember, taking away things that are suboptimal and adding things that are super potent, but you take small amounts. Okay, remember, we've done videos on how to make your own raw live condiments. Okay, how to make your own kombucha. How to, and kombucha, of course, is a ferment. How to, how to make a variety of ferments. Okay, how to make an organic, intelligent garden. How to really learn how to do maybe an enema. Okay, a lot of the protocols, practices, and principles we share, which I don't share on any social media because you just get in trouble. So uh, we share those on Earth Academy. And you do need lots of products, okay, like minerals and fulvic acid and just different things, MSM, okay. So, you know, again, be careful what you buy because most of the stuff you have to go ahead and really realize. It's not what you want. And you don't need to go ahead and actually spend a lot of money, okay, at all. You don't. And where do you get your products from? Well, again, we've been doing Earthshift products for about 10 years. My daughter, Allie, she runs the whole, and you talk about, talk about a lot of power, <laughs> power to uh, put into a company to be able to make things work because it's not easy. Okay, trying to find the best of the best of the best products, sell them wholesale direct, free shipping, worldwide shipping, have hundreds of different SKUs, making sure that, well, this comes into stock and that comes into stock and you make sure that, well, you put it in the right packaging, bisphenol A free packaging. Okay, and making sure that what? Yet you get pure products without being diluted. And you know, exercise, remember, is super important for you to do too. Okay, so don't, don't miss that. I see a lot of people using their minds a lot, but they're, <laughs> but they're not using their bodies. Remember, your body is a machine, and it's just like anything. It needs to be exercised. Okay, exercise. It needs to be stretched. It needs to be, uh, I got, well, I got my Friday night date <laughs> every week from Stephanie. She does a lot of massage on people that come up to our 21-day detoxification and rejuvenation retreat. And she works on me for like three hours straight, from head to toe, deep as deep. And it takes a little, you know, every week I do about three hours, okay? And this is what everybody needs. You need to go ahead, maybe not get three hours. If you do a good deep hour massage, you'll be sore for a week. Remember, your body needs, needs to be purged, purified, and rebuilt. So eating food, remember, makes, makes a lot of uh, debris. And drinking liquid pushes the debris out. So 
I would say, you know, if you really want to get healthy, like I said, you need to get a steam distiller, okay? We have them at Earther Academy. You can get them, you know, it's the cheapest you can get anywhere. And uh, cheapest meaning for price, but then again, it's the best workhorse you can get. It's a steam pure. And we have a special deal with the company. And like I said, with Earthshift, you do need products. You need a copper tongue scraper, not a stainless steel one, okay? You want certain products that basically I've uh, found that to be very beneficial. And certain types of things that you want to go ahead and do. Once you get to a certain layer, it's really easy to go ahead and step up to the next layer. It's super easy. So we've done lots of good videos over the last, I don't know, a couple of months. And it's really hard for me to get them out there is only because, I don't know, it's just, it's just like an uphill battle to... to uh, sort of push against YouTube and Facebook. You know, I have like 30,000 people on my Facebook, right? 5,000 on my friends maximum and Earth Academy and my personal. And, you know, if I put something out there, it gets 5,000, 10,000 looks, okay, right away. I get 100, 100, 100 views. That's it. Okay, putting it on Facebook. Why? Because it just must shut it all off for some reason right now. You know, I found out that a lot of things I want to advertise, like anything that has to do with detoxification, parasites, uh, just, you know, anything that has to do with sort of health that, that um, I guess maybe is controversial. Who knows? Remember, they're just guidelines. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. If you want to have some of these videos, if you like them, share them. Push them around. <laughs> it's because I'm trying, but I just don't want to push them around for some reason. Maybe the advertisers don't like, uh, maybe be talking about uh, not eating sugar. Why? <laughs> not eating sugar. Why is that? Because, I don't know, maybe they sell sugar. Okay? How about uh, maybe me talking about, I don't know, why would you eat fast food? Because all you're going to do is get fat. Why would you have diet? Okay? False sugars. <laughs> Aspartamine. Okay? All the, well, just fake sugars, saccharin, whatever they are, you know. Splenda, okay? Jesus, there's so many of them. What about, well, anything? You know, remember, again, critical thinking is, is your department. Self-responsibility, guys. Remember, you take your clothes off, and I know this is sort of weird, again. Take your clothes off, give yourself a physical examination, and check out yourself, and see if you've got some of the different parasites that basically you need to work on. That's all. There's no judgment. It's just what it is. Okay, so you take your clothes off, shut the door, don't tell anybody you're doing it, remember? <laughs> you're going to look at yourself, but then again, you don't want to tell anybody, and really take a physical examination. Give yourself a breast exam, man and women. Check and see if you're a man, and, and, and grab your areolar tissue around the nipple on a man, and see, see if you have buds there, because that means you have high estrogen. Okay, if you've got belly fat, okay, down here, high estrogen, okay, it's just what it is. There's many different things you could go ahead and actually just check and see, is this what I have, and then what do you do about it? Not complain. Okay, if you have body fat, what do you do? You learn what body fat is. Body fat's a creature. Let's say it's yeast, mold, fungus, candida, whatever it is, sugar monsters. Why do they live inside the system? Is because they eat a certain fuel. They eat the fuel, which is sugar. They process it. They poop in the body. They replicate, have babies, and guess what happens? <laughs> then they have more babies and more babies, and they say, feed me some more and more and more. And as long as you do, then guess what happens? You get what's called fat, obese. Again, well-rounded. <laughs> and I keep saying it's not well-rounded here. It's well-rounded here. So what do you do? Remember, body fat is what I call category two hierarchy of parasites. And it's very easy to go ahead and not beat them up, dry them up. Okay, category three, those are the, those are the belly extenders. Okay, those are the ones that, that look like a man or a woman, even if you're skinny, has, has a big belly and you're not pregnant. The question to ask is what's in there? Those are processed food eaters, okay? Those are what we call the worms in your garden, 
<laughs> if you got worms in your garden, well, it's really healthy for your garden. Why? Because it's decomposing all the time. And if I don't have food that needs to be decomposed, then I don't have worms that are in my body, so they're not pooping inside me. And that's the problem with worms inside us. See, the worms are good for you if you eat a bunch of junk because they process all the junk. But if I eat any food that basically my body can't process, you know what happens? It just sits in there and rots and it gives me stomach ache. So I used to be able to eat McDonald's, Taco Bell, Carl's Jr., Kentucky Fried Chicken. Remember, I'm 57 years old, just about. I've had fast food thousands of times, okay, thousands. And I'd eat it, feel full, have a little gas maybe, burp a few times, and feel okay, okay? Once I've cut out every bit of microbe that processes that garbage, remember these are worms that process that stuff. What do you think eats fast food, okay? It's not even real, okay? It's not even real. You have to have certain creatures to be able to process that stuff. And once they process it again, what do they do? They poop inside the body. It's real simple. Okay, so once you rid yourself of that food, then you need to rid yourself of those types of parasites. And that's what a lot of the terrain modification protocols, practices, and principles do is slowly, well, you knack at it. You dissolve certain things out. You wash them out. Okay, it's all liquids, most of it. Okay, and then you re -nutrify. And in some cases, you may even need to kill some certain things. Why? Because they ain't leaving. They're not leaving. Okay? So, just like my garden, I can pray all day long, I can meditate all day long, but if I got snails in my garden, they ain't leaving. I can put a, a golden halo of light around my garden and say, get out of my garden. Okay? And do all the, all the praying I want. That's not going to help. It's just like your body. You need to do the work. Okay, so a lot of people, they got this mind thing going, oh, it's just, a, you know, I can, I, can override, I can override fluoride, I can override putting a cell route phone up to my head. I've got white light that surrounds me, I'm okay. I have a little, little tiny sticker on my phone. Yeah, I have this. Guys, wake up. Remember, there's lots of charlatans out there. You need to learn how to navigate, okay, navigate. Just like driving a boat, okay? Okay, what do you do? You have to learn how to navigate. Okay, what if you can't see when you're, when you're driving your boat? What do you got to do? You got to use, well, technology. Okay, the same thing. Your body, of course, is technology. And if you can't see how to run it, then you know what? It's just going to run ashore. And as you can see, like I said, I was in the city the other day, and I'm embarrassed to see the people there. I'm embarrassed to see people in the city when I go back to California. I'm embarrassed. Why? Because everybody's so bloody sick. Okay? Fat, sick, okay? Okay? Psychotically emotional. I see tons of people like that. Okay? And nearly dead because they're, they're, they're walking around. They're barely even moving. They're not even walking. They're waddling. That's not life. Just not. And I see people, you know, I saw this lady yesterday, okay, and I'm not bagging on anybody. She's probably like 45 years old. She's like probably 240 pounds, okay? Okay, 240, it's a big girl, five foot five maybe. And she had oxygen in her nose, <clears throat> and she's, I'm at the, you know, at putting in diesel in my truck, okay, filling up. Takes, I got 100, you know, 100 gallons there, it takes me a while. And I'm watching this lady over there, and she's, <gasps> and, she, and she's breathing hard, you know, and she's huge, okay? And her daughter, which is, well, just a smaller version of her, brings two huge sodas, okay? And two packs of, what do you think? Potato chips. This is what it is. Guys, you're doing it to yourselves. <laughs> Jesus. Again, I feel so bad. And not only that, while I was waiting, again, she was in the car, her daughter, okay, is in the back seat, okay, and she's probably about five years old, and she gives her the same thing, gives her an ice cream. Just training your kids, guys. What are you doing? Training your kids to go ahead and what, suffer? Training your kids to be possessed by certain types of parasitic demons? Remember, these things basically come in the body, and they don't leave. 
Once you get them in there, what do you think they're leaving? It's like cockroaches in your kitchen. Once you get a couple, well, guess what? They ain't leaving. Easy. How are you going to get rid of them? Well, you're going to have to clean up first of all. Remember, your body's just like having cockroaches. What do you do? Clean it up. Clean your kitchen up. Rip everything out of the cupboards. Get rid of as much as you can. And one, then what do you do? You're going to have to put some boric acid in there. Put some type of non-toxic pesticide inside your kitchen cabinets and leave them in there. Okay? Make sure you're not a slob anymore. A slob. A glutton. Have food and garbage all over the place. Okay? And this is what parasites live off. They live off of garbage. And the garbage that we eat in a lifetime, remember, is about 20 tons. Why do you think everybody's so sick, remember? Fat, okay, emotionally psychotic, and nearly dead. Nearly dead, I say. Even if you're 20 years old, I see a lot of people. They're not being smart. Nearly dead means keep putting that phone up to your head and talking. And remember, she was in her car waiting for her daughter. It took me like 10 minutes to fill my car. And she had her phone on the side of her head for like seven minutes straight. Again, not smart. Okay, remember, technology is to be used, but you have to learn. You have to learn. Okay, the booby traps of anything. Look, I have technology here. I'm going to cut the grass in a minute, and we're going to trim. We're going to terrain modify the lawn. Just like me cleaning my skin. I'm going to take off a layer all the time, and the grass basically keeps beautiful. If I don't maintain this tractor here, it's a turbo tractor, <clears throat> diesel, and keep it perfect, this thing will fall apart. And in fact, we use this 40 hours a month to cut the lawn here on 30 acres. It's a lot of lawn here. This thing's got to keep perfect all the time. So we maintain it perfect, just like your body. And if you only had one tractor, okay, for you to last your whole life, just like you have one body, one body to last your whole life, what would you do? What would you do? You bloody well take care of it, okay? And how would you do that? Well, you'd read the manual, wouldn't you? That's right. Do we have a manual on how to figure out how to, I don't know, take care of the body? Maybe advance the mind? No, we don't. And we, we call going to school uh, education, but really remember again, if there was so much education going on and everybody was going to school and getting so bloody smart, then we would be such an advanced species. Instead of every generation, do you think that the species, okay, of two toxic parents, remember the average woman's five foot four hundred and seventy two, average man's five foot nine, let's say two hundred and ten. Do you think if those two people, thirty pounds plus overweight, toxicity and everything, have children, what do you think you're gonna get? Dumb and dumber. And each generation, okay, is dumber. And what do you get? Is dumber and dumber. Okay, what a movie. Remember, the unaware are unaware of being unaware. Isn't it so? Okay? The unaware are unaware of being unaware. Listen to the birds. Hey guys, that's the cardinal up there. Okay, do you get that? Okay, and then where you want to be is, well, the other side of the fence. The unaware are unaware of being unaware. Okay, and the job is to become more aware of becoming, again, more aware, it's another layer, another onion skin, of becoming more aware, to become more aware versus to become more unaware. <laughs> okay, let's go to school to, to go ahead and take classes, how to become more aware of becoming more aware of becoming more aware so we don't go ahead and actually become, well, dumb and dumber as generations get further and further separated apart. Remember, once we lose our hormones, we get sick and tired and fat. And what else can you say? People say, why do you use fat? Well, what else do you want to call it? You want me to call it the truth? What's the truth? It's a parasitic creature. It eats glucose of any type, any sugar, honey, 
any sugar, it doesn't care. Okay, so what do you do? If you don't want body fat, cut off the glucose. Follow the terrain modification protocols. Learn how to clean your skin and let out the toxicity with sauna protocols. Learn how to feed your skin with magnesium and different things every day to feed your skin through, through your skin. Feed your skin through your skin instead of through your mouth. <laughs> Does that make sense? That's what I do. I feed my skin through my skin. And you can see my skin's paper thin. I'm an old guy. Okay? Look. <laughs> that's, that's pretty weird looking. Okay? For an old guy. Okay? I'm not showing off. I'm just showing you the protocols, the practices, the principles work. They do. All you got to do is read the comments. And there's people out there, disinformation, and, you know, guys, that's fine. I'm a disinformation agent too. Guess what? I'm trying to trick you guys. You sure thing. You think I get anything out of doing this? Okay? Going on the front line, taking spears from people. Ah, Dr. Kassar. Okay, come on. You think that's fun? You really think it's fun to be able to go ahead and see if you can see, see if you can help people? Okay? You really think? Okay? This is the job, especially since you don't have any system that wants to help you. Remember, my views on my, on my, on my videos, they don't change. They <laughs> like, because they, they stop them. I'm talking, taking off all, I used to do monetization, not to make money, I don't need the stupid three, four hundred bucks, five hundred bucks I get from YouTube. I buy new equipment. I have to go ahead and have higher servers and firewalls and all this garbage that I have to spend. I have to hire professional people at, at <clears throat> thirty and forty dollars an hour. Okay, why? It's because I got spears being thrown at me, shutting down my website, changing this and locking this up and da 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 da. For what? Why? Okay. I don't know. Remember, it's up to us to exchange information. Okay. Remember, it's rethinking reality with your name. And I'm going to set this up, guys. You can have a free Earther Academy membership. I only do the membership is because you can't go ahead and talk about things that are sensitive on YouTube or social media. You just can't. If you think you can, Dr. Casar, why are you charging, what, $120 for six months and I give all your money back and give you credits, okay, to return your money? Okay, it's only part of the system. Okay, it's part of the system. It's like having a church. Do you think the churches go ahead and speak their jargon outside the church? No, you got to come in the doors. And they shut the doors and they can say whatever they want to say to that congregation. Jewish, Catholic, Protestant, Lutheran. They close the doors and everybody's got a different story. So Earth Academy's got a story. And what's that? Health, wealth, happiness, and evolution. Okay? How to upgrade, optimize, and enhance okay, yourself using protocols, practices, and principles that I've learned over 40 years of seeing, I hate to even say this because I feel old, seeing over 100,000 patient office visits. That's a lot of talking to people. That's a lot of trying to help people. And you know what I found out? All those people I was trying to help, they're just making me sick. So I don't talk to people one-on-one -on -one anymore. And I get so many questions, guys. We're going to do questions and answers, but it's for groups. It's not consultation. I'm not charging anybody. I don't care about it. You know, oh, I'll pay you money to do a consult. I don't do that. Okay, let's let's do a question and answer. Your question, okay, is probably many other people's question at the same time. Do you think I want to go ahead and answer the same bloody thing over and over again? That's insanity for me. I know so many people. I get so many emails. I can't keep up with it, man. It's making me have more gray hair trying to help. <clears throat> so, guys, it's up to you to be able to push these videos around, okay? Again, <laughs> this isn't my job to make money. I already got what I need. Look, <laughs> I already got everything. Okay, I live in Hawaii. I have all the things I need. I don't need anything.
But what I do need, well, is to have purpose. Purpose. And what's that? Well, once you're freed from a lot of the things that you don't need to do anymore, what do you do? You do the things that you make, uh, you feel that makes sense. Okay? And when you get to that level, okay, what are you going to do? What are you going to do that makes sense? Well, I know you're going to make a garden. <laughs> I know you're going to play with your animals. Okay? And I know you're going to do things to help people evolve. That's the number one thing, to help people evolve. Wow, what a beautiful thing to help people evolve. Not help them with their sickness. Guys, personally, I don't care what you got wrong with you. That's your problem. Remember, sickness is nothing more than everybody has it. What kind of sickness do you have is the sickness that someone told you have. Okay? It's getting cold out here now. I get cold easy. I don't have too much body fat on me. One of the side effects of actually not having category 2 parasites, which is body fat, well, you get cold easy. <laughs> and it's only probably 74 degrees, but it's going to rain. I can feel it. So there's, there's moisty in the air. Okay, I'm going to cut the lawn here. And the theme was, again, remember, UFOs, that's, that's a mystery. But the, the UPOs, the Unidentified Parasitic Objects, I can help you with. Yes, sirree. Why? It's because if you haven't seen a UFO, that's cool. All you got to do is take your clothes off, look in the mirror, and see if you've got well, like I said, we'll go over category one, which is skin fungus. You're losing your hair. What do you think that is? A curse? No, those are hair mites, most likely. Protocols, practices, and principles. Stop, stop the forest from receding. Okay? Body fat, category two. Stop the colony from replicating, the replicators. Category three, those are belly monsters. Okay? Extended belly. Men and women get all of these. What do you do? Follow the protocols. Learn these different layers and navigate them. And you don't kill any of them. Not those layers. But category four? Category four are everything that sucks blood. Well, there goes my low battery. <laughs> so I'm, I'm getting ready to, to say sayonara here. Okay? Category four are the ones that suck blood. They suck blood. And they're not leaving you. No matter if you're vegetarian, vegan, schmegan, it doesn't matter. And you do need to go ahead and put in oils, not sugar. Remember, why are vegan people overweight? I'll say fat. Why are vegetarians, a lot of them, fat, overweight, chubby, okay? Okay, well-rounded. Why? It's because you're sugar monsters. Body's toxic. Skin's plugged. So what do you do? Follow the protocols, and what do you do? Follow the intermittent fasting protocols. What does the body do? Dries up. Okay, liquids is going to help you. I mean, this is the whole idea. Remember, unidentified flying objects, well, maybe you'll see them once in a while. I've seen many, but then again, that's another story. But the UPOs, okay, I'm going to show you. And you can verify them with your own eyes on yourself, okay? And especially when you go ahead and actually, uh, well, see them in your stools, like the people do that come up to the retreat here. Once you see one of these creatures, now you a believer. <laughs> what is it? That you've got demons inside you. What is that thing? Of course, and you think it's stupid? Remember, mind-controlling parasites are real. And people tell me all the time, that's why I can't talk about it too much. You're scaring people. No, I'm not. What do you think body fat is? What do you think sickness is? What do you think mental dysfunction is? Okay? Remember, Toxoplasmic gondi. What is that? You got a cat? Got dogs? What do you think you have? Look it up. Okay? You got tapeworms? You don't think you do? Pig tapeworms in your brain. Okay? In your liver. It's in your heart. Heartworms. You don't think you have them? You got dogs? Got cats? Got birds? You're joking yourself, like I said. And even if you don't, doesn't matter. You had sex with someone that did. What do you think? Lyme's disease. You ever get bit by mosquitoes? You ever get bit by any creature that sucks your blood? And remember, cats are the reason why there's fleas. And they pass a lot of disease. Jumping up on your bloody counter there, pushing their feet in the poop and jumping. Don't have animals in your house, guys. I'm sorry. They're cute and everything, but they're not really to be in your house. And if you do, you need to have them on the protocols too. And there are protocols 
and sharing with people how to do, how to de-louse your animals with parasites because they're the ones that are giving you a lot of them. Remember, drinking blood, eating flesh. How do you think you're getting parasites? Okay? Eating foods that your body can't digest. How do you think you're getting parasites? Those are the processors. Remember, watching pornographic. Okay? That's a mind parasite. Watching, let's see, horror films. Okay? What do you think that does? Well, when you dream at night, what do you have? Nightmares? Okay? When you drink okay, blood or eat flesh, do you think the, the food that you're eating, that flesh, doesn't have brain chemicals in it? Doesn't have death chemicals in it? It doesn't have suffering chemicals in it? Come on, wake up chemicals in your brain. It's called wake up, guys. Okay, most people, and I talked to several people just the other day, went to the farmer's market yesterday just to go get some stuff, and everybody says, hey, Dr. Kasak, I don't even like going to the town anymore. I go once every two, three weeks, and I'm nobody, and everybody knows me. You know, can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Again, you think it's fun to be me? <laughs> okay, because everybody wants to ask a question. They don't want your autograph. They want to ask you a question because what? They, want, they got a problem. Okay? And that's why I do Earther Academy again. If not, this, this is something that I've said many times to my friends. Guys, I'm not doing this anymore. I've been doing this all my life trying to help, trying to help people. And you know what? It's hard to help people until they get sick. And when you're sick, guys, I don't want to hear it. I don't care about your sickness. I don't want to hear it. That's how you get in trouble. I don't treat any sickness. No, and we do terrain modification and your body's innate and it'll fix itself. It'll fix itself. It'll fix itself, innate intelligence, not the chemical synthetic pill that's going to fix you. Really, do you think so? That's st stupid if you think that. Here's a pill, it'll fix you. No, you're a heathen. A heathen means that you're doing things that is not right, not only to yourself, but to creatures like Mr. Hodo, to the birds, to the bees, to the whales, to the snails. Do you see Roundup here? I don't spray Roundup. You know what it costs me to be able to not use Roundup on this big 30-acre farm? It costs me about $3,500 a month. And what's that? That's one extra guy to weed eat all the time. Okay? And to go ahead and, well, <laughs> take away things that grow without just burning them with glyphosate or atrazine or pesticides, insecticides, herbicides. And again, you better smarten up drinking coffee every day. Do you know what's in coffee? Remember, I'm in the coffee business. I got 2,000 coffee trees. And I go to the guys next door here. They spray so much stuff on that coffee. Your potatoes, if they're, nothing's organic, schmorganic. You better figure it out, guys. Okay? You better figure it out. Again, take your clothes off, look in the mirror, give yourself a visual inspection, and look and see if you've got some of the sickness. And if you do, so what? What do you do? Okay? Be logical and reasonable, not emotional. Oh my God, he's making fun of me. I'm not making fun of anybody. Personally, it's not my deal. I'm not attached. Do what you want. But then again, when people get sick, Dr. Kassar, my friend's got six weeks to live. What can you help them with? Nothing. Nothing. It's not my job. It's not my job. That's all. I, I, I get 20 people a month, okay? 20 people a month by friends telling me that they're somebody that they know close to them has cancer and what can they do and they've only got a certain amount of time to live. Guys, again, how about why don't you figure it out, become your own doctor before you get bloody sick? Why don't you figure it out and really be reasonable and logical? Okay, let me, let me smack my head a little harder. Why? It's because I get frustrated a lot. Why? It's because we're not as smart as we think we are as a group. Remember, we all need to be able to rethink reality. A five sense reality is a belief reality. Okay, it believes in religion, mind control. It believes in money. Of course you need it, but that's emotional control. Oh, there goes my battery. 10% it says I'm down. Okay? Government is what? That's action control. So when you put those three controls together, remember, that's a lot of control. And when you get parasites, that's exterior. When you get parasites, now you have real mind control, not just belief. 
Okay, these are entities that control our minds. Remember, religion, you did that to yourself. Okay, money, you did that to yourself. That's emotional control. Okay, government, that's just part of the deal. Government, to govern. Who? Well, the minions, the mundanes. <laughs> the, the, the people that are on the chessboard called the pawns. <laughs> the front row of the chessboard, whether you give them a gun and say, go shoot that guy. You can't speak to him because he speaks a different language, but you know what? Yep, we've given you enough vaccines and enough, um, well, emotional disattachment to be able to go see if you can kill somebody for the name of I don't know why, but we're going to go over there just to do it. Look at all the women and children, and I'm not going to mean politics-wise. We're a broken, broken race. We just are. Okay, so guys, you know what? Whatever happens is going to happen. All I can say is, you know what? We need to take personal responsibility for ourselves. Quit killing things. Quit destroying things. Quit lying to people. Quit deceiving people. Quit cheating people. Stop it. It's called sin. It's called sin city. It's right here. And we don't know your sins, but you do. You know your sins. Okay, you know the deceit you do every day. You knew, you know the things and maybe the the suffering that you cause other people that you don't even know you cause, or maybe you do you know you cause and you just get off on it. Okay, remember a lot of sin is also belief. It's not just what you do, it's but it's what you believe and waste your time. Remember, you'll have to figure that out on your own. A sixth sense reality is a sense reality that has all five senses that are separated and makes them one. That's the new world. Welcome to the new world. Six, six sense reality. The old world is the five sense reality. Five, the Pentagon. Okay? The Pentagon, or what people say, what? Satan's reality. The Pentagonic reality. The five sense reality. The reality that believes in everything is told without questioning anything. Six sense reality, all five senses becoming one. And that sense, okay, is, well, highly sensitive to bullshit. The five sense reality loves bullshit. It just does. But the six sense reality <laughs> smells it. It questions, okay? It questions. Why? It's because it's found out a lot of things that it thought it was told is not really the right, well, optimal thing that we should know. Okay, there we go. I'm going to lose my battery. Okay, guys. Aloha. Let me get Mr. Hodo, man. Okay, and again, wait until you see this vinegar. This super potent. Remember, vinegar is going to clean you. It's not sugar. It's the vinegars and the ferments. Come on, Dodo. Look at him coming. Yeah. Show him how you fly. Watch. Show him, baby. Get him, baby. Get him, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> uh, these are my loving companions. Mm. Okay. Mm. Look at Jacob. Mm. 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 And he won't bite me because why? I'm his daddy. And well, he's sort of like my son. Watch. Here we go. One more time. Doo -doo! What a beautiful thing to be able to have these creatures and they are having a good time. People say, how could you keep a creature? What do you mean how could you keep a creature? I'm giving him an experience that's so beautiful and he's giving me an experience and he loves it. He's 56, same age as me, like 57 years old and he's been in our family like 40 years. Mm. Mm. Oh, he gives me kisses back. Mm. Watch, I'm blowing his face. Watch. Now if he didn't love me, he'd rip my face off. Okay, say goodbye. Aloha. And I can't do my chakas with this hand because I'm holding the thing, but he'll fly for you and give you chakas. Okay, say goodbye, Hodo. One, two, let's go. <laughs> All right, I'm going to cut the lawn. Hugs for everybody. Yeah, it was sort of cold out here for me today. A little cool. It's hard for me to talk when it's cold, so... All right, and I got a little uh, 
I don't know, sort of irritated in the beginning. Why? Because I got cut off so many times from doing this live broadcast. It just keeps cutting me off because maybe they just do it on purpose just to piss you off. I don't know because I have perfect, perfect signal here and it just, and it won't reconnect and I start and I just erase them every time. But after a couple times, I just say, you know what? Enough's enough. But I tried one more time and yes, we got some, we got some hoofspa. Okay. At least a chance to talk, but I was, well, had a different energy before when I first started. Uh, and then I got bumped off and bumped off and bumped off. And then I got a little bent. So anyways, sorry about that, guys. Hugs for everybody. Love you. Okay. Oh, look at all those. Now I can do chakras. Look at all those loves. Okay, guys. Tell them. Show them, Bobo. <laughs> okay, guys. Aloha. Okay. Here we go. Where's that finish button? <laughs>